the reality of 2022 is I am lucky that I am a descendant of American slaves. I, I, I hope that, that I've made myself crystal clear in, in trying to give you a new way to look at history and how we got here. Because uh, the feminist movement and leftists and atheists, people that want a secular world, have, have told everybody and, and convinced everyone that everything that happened in the past was a result of the wickedness and the evil nature of man. And it's just not true. And it's just people today trying to advance their careers and advance themselves by pretending they're victims of a wickedness that happened a hundred years ago. There are kernels of truth in that as it relates to descendants of slaves in America. Kernels of truth. It's not an absolute truth. I, I, am, I am not a victim and my life hasn't been diminished because I descended from slaves. The, the reality is, based on the reality of 2022 is, I am lucky that I am a descendant of American slaves. That's a fact. I don't care how it makes me sound, how it makes me look, what people over Twitter will say. But there's a reason why all the complaining black people, there's a reason why Jesse Jackson never hopped on an airplane and moved to another country. There's a reason why Al Sharpton at gunpoint would not leave this country and renounce his American citizenship. Because he knows he's lucky that he was born here and lives here and is a descendant of American slaves. Lucky. This is the safest fairest place on earth for black people. That is an undeniable fact. Don't let them recreate history. Don't let them lie to you about the reality of today. What I got to give these feminists credit for is they looked and look what black people have done. Whoo, look at that civil rights act that again was appropriate in my view and necessary based on America's racial history at that time. But the feminists said, you know what? If we can pretend like we went through slavery, if we can pretend like we were denied job opportunities out of the brutality and the sexism and the evil nature of white men, we can now use that in 2022, we can use it in 2017, we can use it in 1995, we can use it to advance our careers and get opportunities and demand things we have not earned. That's what Brittany Griner and Megan Rapino, their whole lives are built around that. The WNBA is a charity organization.